Hi there, Andre Pacini, Viral Marketing, and today I want to show you how to convert a .pages file into a usable CSV or Excel file. Um, pages file is a Mac-based program, or it's a it's a safe file from a Mac, um, and it's really there's nothing on a PC that can open that up. Um, so what I did here is I have the Pages file saved up here. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and choose rename and we're actually not going to change the name of it, we're going to change the file extension. Instead of pages, we're going to change it to zip, Z-I-P. It's going to ask if we want to make the changes. We'll select yes. So now we have a zipped folder with information inside of it. You'll need a program like WinZip. Most PCs already have that pre-installed on them, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, but we, what we want to pull out of here, if we double click on this, we see that there's an index file and it's an XML document. We want to bring that file to our desktop here. So we got that brought in. We're going to need that here in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and close this back down. Now I've included this link in the description of our of the YouTube channel here, but it's a, pro, a pages converter. And so we're going to download this converter. It downloaded pagesconverter.exe. And after you run through the download process, it'll ask if you want to launch the program. And I actually already have that converter saved here on the desktop as well. So when I double click this converter, click Run, and it gives us some instructions. So we need to browse for the pages file to convert it. And you'll see here that the only documents it allows are XML files. That's why we had to move that out. So here is our index XML file. I'm going to click Open and click convert to text. It says it's been successfully converted to text, saved on our desktop. So here is our index text file. So we'll close the converter and when we open the index you'll see it's just a bunch of full of information here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to open Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and populate Microsoft Excel and we're going to select File, Open and we're going to change this from all Excel files to all files. We're going to look on the desktop and I'm going to look for index.txt. That text file is what we want. We'll click open. Now here's the import wizard for Excel and what it's going to do is it's, as you can see, this is what the file looks like with commas and quotations, everything separated out. We want to make sure it's delimited so we're using characters to separate each field. So we'll click the next button um, there's a couple different options here. You could choose comma, which will spread them out. Um, you can also choose, if you don't choose comma, you could choose the quotation marks to spread them out. Um, but since the text qualifiers are already quotation marks, we're going to go ahead and choose comma. What you'll see is this separates out the first name, separates out our last name, and the email address, and the group information. So we'll click Next, General, and we'll click Finish. So now I see that we have the first name in one column, the last name, the account they came from, and the email address, and the information that we're looking for. So if you had exported phone numbers, it would include phone numbers and all that good information. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching.